There is only one time in the Bible that we hear a story about God's name. One time only. And that's in the story from Exodus, which Jan read for us today. In this story, Moses encounters a fiery bush that does not burn up. And then he hears a voice telling him to go back to Pharaoh in Egypt and say, let my people go. And when Moses asks the name of the one who has spoken from the bush, the voice says, I am who I am. Tell them, I am has sent me to you. If we lived in Moses' day, we would pronounce that name Yahweh, which means God is. We would say, Yahweh has sent me to you. It's a secret name because it's hidden inside the meaning of the words. It's like a puzzle which reveals to us that God is with us always. God is everywhere we live and God is wherever we go. So off Moses went to tell the king of Egypt, Yahweh has sent me to tell you, let my people go. And that is how the story of the secret biblical name of God began. At least that's what we have written in the text of the Bible. Of course, the development of the tradition of the name I am, it is much more sophisticated and much more mysterious. It took the fine-tuning of many, many generations of storytellers. You see, the word Yahweh is not a noun. It is a verb. It is the present tense of the verb to be. It is the be word in the Hebrew vocabulary. Gradually, the name Yahweh became so sacred that nobody could say it. You were not allowed to say God's name in the Old Testament. For the ancient Jews, to say the name Yahweh was to show great disrespect. So, every time the ancient Jews came across the name Yahweh, they always said the word Adonai instead. That word is pronounced Adonai. The Hebrew word Adonai was translated into Greek to the word Kyrios and in English to the word Lord. So every time we see the word Lord in the Old Testament, it is really the word Yahweh. Ever since Moses had his experience at the burning bush, God's secret name has always been Yahweh or I am. The Greek word for I am is Amy. Seven times in the New Testament, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. I am the light of the world. I am the living water. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. And then Jesus said something that got him killed. Jesus said, Before Abraham was, I am. And the religious people around him cried out, Blasphemy! You are making yourself equal with God. But was Jesus really making himself equal with God when he used the word Amy? Or could it be that he was simply using God's powerful secret name, I Am, to talk about God's presence in the world and in our lives, which would mean that what Jesus was actually saying is, God is the bread of life. God is the good shepherd. God is the light of the world. 
God is the living water. God is the way, the truth, and the life. God is the resurrection and the life. And before Abraham was, God was. It helps if we remember the meaning of God's secret name from the original story, which is the verb to be, or I am in all of its tenses, past tense, present tense, and future tense. And then along with the great Hebrew and Christian mystics, both old and new, we can say that God is always moving. God is forever on the move because God is movement. God is energy itself. God is being itself. God is the one who says to us, I will be father, I will be mother, I will be son, I will be daughter, I will be anything you need me to be. If you are thirsty, I am water. If you are starving, I am food. If you are all alone, I am friend. If you are an orphan, I am your father. If you are weak, I am strong. If you are afraid of death, I am eternal life. No matter what you need, I am all things for you. I am with you. I am in you. I am for you. I am everything you need to do what you need to be whole. I am everything you need to say, I am and I can for yourself. I am is the secret name of God that Moses learned to trust and obey in his life, and I am is also at the heart of the story of the life and death of Jesus. It is the truth behind the entire story of God's relationship with Israel. It is the truth about God's relationship with each one of us. It is personal. It is powerful. Yahweh, I am in you. I am with you. I am for you. I am everything you need. I am the fully shared life at the heart of the universe. Amen.